Okay, okay, I know you guys are excited about the main event, but I know you guys are really excited about Molina Lopez. Of course. <laughs> of course. That's on the card. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Now, what are you doing here, John? <laughs> I'm here to watch. Good company, man, being here just out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of the sport. I came for the tacos, can you tell? <laughs> Don't forget guys, two for flinching. Oh wait, wait, and don't forget, horns up. Oh. And I'm an OG oh. fan, I'm not one of these new bandwagoners because they came to LA, okay? Where's the Eric Dickerson jersey? Ah, my, my era was Jim Everett, Henry Aller, Kevin Green. That was my era. That's when I first started. Uh, yeah. I used you to go and watch the game. What's that? You just moved your slice with that one. Oh, there you go. Come on. Super Bowl this year or what? Uh, you no, know, now that Drew Brees is down, yeah, I believe so. I, that was going to be our, our toughest challenge, I believe. Don't see how looking good, but uh, I think it's going to be us in a rematch. So. Uh, yeah, Patriots round two. Yeah, I think it's round two. That's my that's my belief. Go Rams, go Rams. I think I think we learned. I think uh, with Goff with a nice fat paycheck that he has going, I think he's gonna motivate him to play harder. No, but you gotta remember, there's two types of type people. When you start making great money, you either get relaxed and I'm good now, or you work your ass off because you never want it to end. And I think Goff is a difference. I think he's gonna work his ass off. Especially after last season. Excuse me? Especially after last yeah, season. Yeah, well, it's it learning, it growing pains. Mm -hmm. Do you play fantasy football? Uh, I play draft teams. So, mm -hmm. uh, I like the quick hit. It's a fantasy football on ADD. That's mm -hmm. me. So. Mm -hmm. It's like watching uh, Red Zone, ADD football. Well, you know, when you talk about brands like Andy Ruiz, you know you get sponsorship when you talk uh, about Right, them. there you go. I don't think I'm gonna sign this commercial because of my nose. So. <laughs> the winers are looking pretty good too. Yeah, they're not looking too bad. <laughs> I hate the team, but we got pretty good defense. From the sea chickens, they're looking pretty good. <laughs> what happened? Surprise. What happened to the Panthers? What happened to Cam Newton? Uh, uh, that's, I'm glad, but you know, um, I'm surprised that we're only a, a three-point favorite against Cleveland mm. this weekend. Oh. But it's because it's at their house. So I know Sean Porter's going to be happy. You can ask him about that one. Is Odell a help or a hindrance for Cleveland? I think he's a help. And it showed last week. I was tripping on that. I think one power ranking, they had him above the Rams. I was like, what the hell? But um, we'll see. You know, uh, they got the running game. They got Dax, who they're not bad. So let's see. Huh? Sorry, yeah. Since you've done this social media purge this time around, what have you been doing to besides training to fill your time? My daughters, my daughters, and my wife, and sitting at home. Uh, Watching uh, those 90s sitcoms, Family Matters. My kids are the only kids of this era that say, it's a rare condition, <laughs> <laughs> And then my daughter say, did I do that? And I'm like, yes, I love it. And then uh, Family Matters and um, Full House, the original one, not the corny new one. Right. Although I do watch it. <laughs> I'm guilty, I'm guilty, but. So, showing my daughters about my era. PGI Friday, who remembers that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey. Step by step. I even go even further. Uh, Perfect Strangers. Ooh. Uh, you are 
Yeah. Yeah. You're older than I thought. I'm OG. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna embrace my age. I, I'm still here and I'm gonna embrace my age. Remember Balky, right? Balky Bartakamus. <laughs> Cousin Letty. I think I did a, a thing on my Facebook uh, the other day, which is very small. It's only like close family friends mm -hmm. and, uh, and family. And I did a uh, small wonder. I don't know who remembers that. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Vicky the robot. Yeah. She's fantastic, Vicky. 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 man. Yeah. <laughs> my sister said, I was like, oh shoot, take it back. Ow. Ow. Oh. Today's special. Mm -hmm. Zoobly zoo. No, no, it's cool. When you had a pager. I remember I was in eighth grade, I got my first pager. And uh, I told my mom, hey, I'm going to a party. Page me at eight o'clock. I want everyone to see me have a pager. I mean, to... <laughs> all, all I had was beat and vibrate, okay? I turned it all the way up. Oh, let me check that. All right, I'm good, yeah. <laughs> but I'll admit I did. And then also in high school, my senior year, I had a, a Mustang, a 2001 Mustang. But it was my mom's. But everyone thought it was mine. That's okay. Yeah, hey, thanks, mom, for letting me tell everyone that was my Mustang. <laughs> what was your party crew name? Oh, party crew. That's <laughs> Kid Orbit. Kid Orbit. And because I hit you so hard, you're going to <laughs> party crew. You're from the Rebel Familia. Remember yeah. Rebel being Rebel? Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that's old school, man. The Rebel days. The Familia. <laughs> You guys are y'all having fun back The Rebel Days. For the white gloves? The white gloves, John? The, the, the problem is, hey, the Rebels, when you have the creepers on and the Levi's, and I was so skinny, I couldn't wear tight shirts, man, with little noodle arms. <laughs> Remember the, the house music? Oh, yeah. Mm. Happy to be hardcore. Mm. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Even drum, remember the later years, the drum and bass back in the day? Yeah. Yep. Jungle music? Mm. Yeah, there you go. You start a bus roll. I remember I went to the Master Dome with my first rave I ever went to. Wow. Yeah, it, it was crazy. My cousin, we sneak in there. But you could do that now, you know. I mean, you could do that then, it was fun. Oh, yeah. Now you know. Yeah. Times has changed big time. I wouldn't Terrible. let my kids go outside. But no I'm kidding. Big, no way. Hey, going to school, that scared the, the hell out of me. Sad that you had to have a backpack that's bulletproof now for your kids. Yeah. That's scary. Do your daughters watch your fights? They do, but I keep telling the story that I put my daughters to bed every night, and my oldest is six now. I give her a kiss, and I'll see you in the morning. And she says, Daddy, your fight's coming up. This is my last fight I figured out. I said, yeah. She said, Daddy, I don't want you to get hurt. And it scared me because she now is rationalizing, putting two and two together. There's pain involved in my occupation and what I do. So I go to bed with my wife and say, hey, we got to make a decision because as a kid, I would get scared seeing my dad have rotary. I'm gonna like, kick the guy's ass. And I'm like, oh, don't fight, please. Now, at my level, we do, and the way I fight, it could be scary, but the day before the fight, my wife, my daughter called me and said, Daddy, Mommy told me I can't go to the fight. She said there's an age limit, those people are stupid. And I was like, you wanna go to the fight? And she was like, yes, I wanna be there. It's all right, we'll bring you to the fight. And it worked out. Can't give me more motivation. She's coming in this one? Absolutely. Both of my kids, my two daughters, ran out and ran me. Oh, uh, do you have kids? Do any of you guys have kids? I do. Can you imagine if someone walks up to your kid and goes, hey, do that. Bam, smack him in the face in front of you. What are you going to do? <laughs> All right, there you go. I will, ki I will kill somebody that hurts my family. That's it. And when you have a kid, you're going to remember the word I give you, unconditional. You know what it means because you're more individual. <laughs>